Chapter 7 Hodgepodge. Ten true or false sample test questions follow. The correct answers to these ten questions will be found in the current chapter material. It is suggested pausing the audio to read these sample test questions. Continue the audio after completing your review. Hodgepodge, shoulder of the road. Question. When is it appropriate to paint a stop line on the shoulder of the road? See the black and gold arrow in picture number 7-2. Answer number 1. It's not. The vehicle in picture number 7-2 above seemingly is moving into a right turn lane and is preparing to turn right. Unfortunately, as we move the picture further back, see picture number 7-3 below, it becomes apparent the motorist in the above picture was actually moving onto the shoulder of the road to make the right turn. There was also no question this motorist believed he or she was performing a legal traffic maneuver, but that is not the case. Answer number two. Stop lines should not be painted on the shoulder of the road. It serves only the negative purpose of inconsistency confusion. Traffic alert. Many Delaware motorists will interpret a shoulder with a painted stop line as a legitimate right turn lane. The only legal maneuver for driving on the shoulder of the road according to Delaware traffic law is when a motorist is passing left turning traffic on the right. Once the passing maneuver has been completed, the motorist should return to the through traffic lane. It is also legal to make a right turn across the shoulder to enter a driveway or business. While the D-Team was unable to find in Delaware traffic law a specific law that prohibits driving on the shoulder, the following should be strongly considered before venturing on a driving tour down the road shoulder, especially when intending to enter a right turn lane using the road shoulder picture number 7-4 below. The motor vehicles being passed on the right by the utilization of the shoulder of the road are not intending to turn left. They are through traffic vehicles. Thus, the vehicle traveling on the shoulder of the road below is in violation of Delaware law. Title 21, Chapter 41, Rules of the Road, Section 4117, When Overtaking on the Right is Permitted. C. When the vehicle overtaking is making or about to make a left turn, the vehicle approaching from the rear may pass on the right using the shoulder if necessary. Obviously, if a motor vehicle is disabled and cannot maintain the normal flow of traffic, the shoulder is where it belongs and the hazard light should be activated. Warning: A disabled motor vehicle traveling on the road shoulder should not be proceeding at a speed greater than through traffic. Thus, the disabled vehicle should not be passing through traffic when utilizing the road shoulder unless the through traffic is at a standstill. The motor vehicle in picture number 7-5 above is traveling illegally on the shoulder of the road preparing to make a right turn into the Dickinson High School complex. There is little doubt this motorist is not aware of illegalities of his or her driving behavior. Furthermore, the improper painting of the stop line on the road shoulder has led school traffic to illegally interpret the shoulder as a right turn lane. See picture number 7-6 immediately below. The D-Team Fix-It Recommendations Remove the stop line and stripe the shoulder to identify it is not a right turn lane or place a right turn arrow in the current shoulder and make it a legal right turn lane. Picture number 7-7 -7 above once again identifies the Dickinson High School entrance. The D-Team recognizes many Delaware motorists will misinterpret the dual traffic signals as controlling two separate traffic lanes. However, the right lane is actually the shoulder of the road and is not a legal traffic lane. A little known secret. Del Dot attempts to place intersection traffic signals in duplicates, meaning there are many times two traffic signals are controlling the same movement. The reason for duplication, because at some future time a traffic light will malfunction or burn out. Therefore, both traffic signals in picture number 7-8 below control the through traffic lane, which is where not only through traffic travels, but also where right turns are legally initiated. Repeat of the D-Team Fix-It recommendations. Remove the stop line and stripe the shoulder to identify it is not a right turn lane or place a right turn arrow in the current shoulder 
and make it a legal right turn lane. This D-Team Fix-It recommendation applies to all shoulders that currently contain a stop line. Hodgepodge Stopping Points The legal stopping points are the same at stop sign controlled intersections and traffic signal controlled intersections. Additionally, these legal stopping points also apply at pedestrian crossings. Title 21, Motor Vehicles, Chapter 41, Rules of the Road, Subchapter 7, Special Stops Required. Section 4164, Stop Signs and Yield Signs. A. Except when directed to proceed by police officers or traffic control devices, Every driver of a vehicle approaching a stop intersection indicated by a stop sign shall stop at a marked stop line, but if none, before entering the crosswalk on the near side of the intersection, or if none, then at the point nearest the intersecting roadway, where the driver has a view of approaching traffic on the intersecting roadway before entering the intersection. Question. Is it hard to come to a full stop at a legal stopping point when no cross traffic is in sight? Answer. You bet it is. The vehicle in picture number 7-9 above not only did not stop at the stop line, but also did not come to a full stop before entering the crosswalk. However, this vehicle did come to a full stop at the point nearest the intersecting roadway where the driver has a view of approaching traffic on the intersecting roadway before entering the intersection. Even though a full stop was made, it was still a violation of Delaware law. The stopping point for a stop sign controlled intersection is usually a stop line or the point at the intersection the driver has a clear view of cross traffic. However, as seen in picture number 7-10 below, where the stop sign is located in a busy pedestrian location, the stop line stopping point is usually located a minimum of 4 feet prior to the crosswalk. Hodgepodge, shark's teeth. Shark's teeth a legal stopping point, maybe. Shark's teeth, as seen in picture number 7-11 above, are reasonably new and are used as legal stopping points at yield locations if a stop is necessary for safety. They are normally used in conjunction with yield signs to emphasize the yield requirement. Picture number 7-12 below is a pedestrian crossing. A second shark's teeth location is when both entering and exiting one of Delaware's newest intersection designs, roundabouts. If there is only one traffic lane in the roundabout, there will only be one entrance yield sign. See picture number 7-13 below, Mifflin Road in Dover, Delaware. If there are two traffic lanes in a roundabout, there will be a yield sign on both the left and right. See picture number 7-14 below, Rehoboth Avenue in Rehoboth, Delaware. Picture number 7-15 below is a diagram of what the D-Team believes is an accurate depiction of the Rehoboth Avenue roundabout. The photo in the center of the diagram is that of a typical Delaware motorist who experienced this four-way multi-lane design roundabout for the first time and ended up driving in circles. Just kidding. Well, maybe not. However, this particular roundabout is more confusing than the typical four-way single lane entry points in picture number 7-13, the Mifflin Road, Dover. The Rehoboth design is actually a combination multi-lane, single lane design. Picture number 7-15 above. The good news, the majority of visitors to Rehoboth will be traveling east-west on Rehoboth Avenue. Just pick a lane and go. If the east west Rehoboth Avenue route isn't your choice, then the D-Team suggests you spend time studying picture number 7-15. HodgePodge, Recreational Vehicles. Picture number 7-18, RV Driving Safety. When you're driving a motorhome, make every trip a safer one by buckling up your safety belt and making sure passengers are also secure. Wearing a safety belt is the single most effective thing you can do to prevent serious injury and death in a traffic accident, according to the National Safety Belt Coalition. Besides, it's the law. With proper attention to the differences in vehicle size, height, and weight, you'll find it fun and easy to take the wheel of a motorhome. A motorhome is not difficult to drive, however, it is substantially wider, longer, and heavier than an automobile. 
These differences do call for special driving procedures. The procedures are easy to master and make your trip that much more enjoyable. Your motorhome vacation can be the experience of a lifetime. These guidelines can help make it a safe one too. Hodgepodge Potholes Potholes are a serious hazard for automobiles. Picture number 7-19 below. Not only can they result in damage to your vehicle, but they can be the cause of a serious accident. Now try to imagine what would happen if a motorcycle ends up in this Elkton Road, Newark, Delaware pothole. Picture number 7-20 below. Hodgepodge. Motorcycles. Title 21, Motor Vehicles, Operation and Equipment, Chapter 41, Rules of the Road, Section 4185, Riding on Motorcycles. A. A person operating a motorcycle should ride only upon the permanent and regular seat attached thereto, and such operator shall not carry any other person, nor shall any other person ride on a motorcycle, unless such motorcycle is designed to carry more than one person, in which event a passenger may ride upon the permanent and regular seat, if designed for two persons, or upon another seat firmly attached to the rear or side of the operator, and said motorcycle shall be equipped with passenger footrests. B. Every person operating or riding on a motorcycle shall have in that person's possession a safety helmet approved by the Secretary of Safety and Homeland Security, here and after, Secretary, through the Office of Highway Safety, and shall wear eye protection approved by the Secretary, provided, however, that every person up to 19 years of age operating or riding on a motorcycle shall wear a safety helmet and eye protection approved by the Secretary. C. The operator of a motorcycle shall keep at least one hand on a hand grip of the handlebars at all times when moving. D. A person shall ride upon a motorcycle only while sitting astride the seat, facing forward with one leg on each side of the motorcycle. E. No person shall operate a motorcycle while carrying any package, bundle, or any other article which prevents a person from keeping both hands on the handlebars. F. No operator shall carry any person, nor shall any person ride in a position that will interfere with the operation or control of the motorcycle or the view of the operator. Picture number 7-21. In Delaware, a larger percentage of fatal crashes result from errors by motorcyclists than vehicle drivers. With the rising popularity of motorcycle riding has come an unfortunate rise in motorcycle crashes and deaths nationwide and locally. While vehicle drivers need to be on the lookout for motorcyclists at all times, as a rider you have a role to play too. No matter your age or the type of bike you ride, it's up to you to ride smart. Protect yourself so you can enjoy the sport to its fullest. Most common causes. Speeding, drinking, following too closely, and stunt riding. Excerpts from the Delaware Driver's Manual, Sharing the Road with Motorcycles. Nationally, almost half of all motorcycle crashes involve other motor vehicles. In collisions with motorcycles, drivers often say they never saw the motorcycle. From 2005 to 2008, there were 66 motorcycle fatalities in Delaware. Always remain alert and check your blind spot frequently to make sure that a motorcycle is not present. You need to be especially alert for motorcycles when turning at intersections and when pulling out from a side road or driveway. The following are a few of the specific situations that call for a special attention by motorcyclists and you. 1. Left turns in front of an oncoming motorcyclist account for a large percentage of car cycle injury producing accidents. The problem of not seeing the motorcyclist is twofold. Car drivers may fail to pick the cyclist out of the traffic scene, or drivers may fail to judge the speed of the oncoming motorcycle. The correct behavior is to look and look again. 2. Turn signals are not automatically self-canceling on most motorcycles. At times, the rider may forget to turn the signal off. Before you make a turn in front of a motorcyclist, be sure the rider is turning and not continuing straight ahead into your path with a forgotten turn signal still blinking. 3. Following too closely may make the rider nervous, causing the rider's attention to be distracted from the road and traffic ahead. 
Motorcycles can stop quicker, so you need to follow at a safe distance. If the roadway is slippery or wet, increase your following distance. 4. Motorcycles are entitled to the same full lane width as other vehicles. A skilled motorcycle operator is constantly changing positions within that lane to maximize his ability to see and be seen and to compensate for objects in or near the road. Never move into the same lane alongside a motorcycle, even if that lane is wide and the cyclist is riding far to one side. It is not only illegal, it is extremely hazardous. 5. Crosswinds can be hazardous to motorcyclists. Windy conditions can actually move a motorcycle out of its lane of travel. Areas to look out for are wide open, long stretches of highways and bridges. Fast-moving large trucks have been known to create wind blasts, which can startle a motorcyclist and under certain conditions actually move the motorcyclist out of his path of travel. Be alert to these conditions so you can prepare yourself for the possible quick change in speed or direction of the motorcycle. 6. Road surfaces and things in the road that do not normally affect other vehicles can create problems for the cyclist. Gravel, debris, pavement seams, small animals, and even manhole covers may cause a motorcyclist to change speed or direction. 7. Railroad grade crossings may be rough or cross the road at any angle. The rider may slow down or change direction so the tracks can be crossed head on. The cyclist may rise up off the seat to help cushion the shock of a rough crossing. Motorcycles, the D-Team Summary 1. Every person up to 19 years of age operating or riding on a motorcycle shall wear a safety helmet and eye protection approved by the Secretary. 2. Every person operating or riding on a motorcycle shall have in that person's possession a safety helmet approved by the Secretary of Safety and Homeland Security, here and after Secretary, through the Office of Highway Safety, and shall wear eye protection approved by the Secretary. 3. Specific Hazards for Motorcycles a. Left turns. B. Turn signals may not automatically self-cancel. C. Formation driving by the vehicle to the rear. D. Crosswinds. E. Uneven road surface. F. Railroad crossings. Chapter number 6. Crossing the line. Clarification update. Passing. Overtaking. Lane changing. 98% rule. As you have already learned, there is a major difference when comparing two-way roads, picture number 7-22 below, and one-way roads, picture number 7-23 below. Picture number 7-22 is a two-way road, opposite direction traffic arrows with a broken yellow line separating the traffic lanes. This broken yellow line identifies a legal left passing zone in both directions. Important. Passing left always requires a double lane change. A lane change to return to your original travel lane is paramount for obvious safety reasons. Picture number 7-23 is a one-way road, multiple lanes, same direction traffic, with either a solid or broken white line separating same direction traffic. Faster traffic will execute an overtaking maneuver as they proceed beyond the traveling traffic to their front. Lane changing is an option, but not a requirement when executing an overtaking maneuver. Additionally, if a lane change is executed in order to accomplish an overtaking task, the operator of the overtaking vehicle has the option to remain in their current travel lane or lane change to another legal travel lane. SOS 98% Rule if you can master the above, you are on your way to better odds by implementing the principles of smart defense. However, there is more to improving your odds than just understanding the 98% arbitrary number rules of the road. So let us now work on some of the exceptions to the 98% rule. Passing exceptions. Passing right. Picture number 7-24 and number 7-25 below identify legal passing left turning traffic on the right maneuvers. A. Passing left turning traffic on the right is legal even in an intersection. Picture number 7-24 above. Caution! Executing this passing on the right maneuver is not legal if attempted from a right turn lane. B. 
Passing left turning traffic on the right side is also legal if there is an improved right shoulder. Picture number 7-25 below. Hodgepodge. Vehicle condition. Check the condition of your vehicle before setting out. Vehicle equipment. Indicator and lights. Make sure all lamps are working and clean. A dirty lamp is only half as bright. Windows and mirrors. For good visibility, windows and mirrors must be clean. Load. Make sure any roof luggage is firmly attached. Don't leave straps with loose ends to flap around. Load heavy items in the boot. Don't place luggage on the rear shelf. Fluids. Check fuel, oil, and other fluid levels. Useful items. Cloths, gloves, spare bulbs, wiper fluid, oil, warning triangle, etc. Torch and reflective vest. SOS. You can drive smart or you can drive stupid.